Hello, Nintendo. Do you know what this is? This is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and as soon as you release it in North America this fall, I'm gonna buy it. This is the last story. If you release it in North America, I'll buy it. This is Xenoblade. Same deal. Release it in North America, and I'll buy it. Pandora's Tower. Ditto. Oh look, I have a lot of money left over and there's a lot of time to kill before your next console comes out, so disaster day of crisis, do want. Another code R. We got the first game in the series here, it sure would be nice to have its sequel. And you know, having only ever owned Nintendo consoles, I've never played anything from the Fatal Frame series, so Fatal Frame 4. Bring it to me, and I'll give it a go. Well now, it's a nice looking chunk of change there. But, even though this money's just sitting here with your name on it, as you've said, you have no plans to release any of these games in North America. I don't get it, Nintendo. The majority of these games are already in English and have or soon will release in Europe, so why not here? Think you won't sell enough to offset the cost of printing NTSC copies and shipping them on over? I'd save you the trouble. I would go to the expense of importing each and every one of these titles. But... You region locked your console. So I can't. Now, I'm not saying that my decades of unwavering customer loyalty means you owe me anything, no. <laughs> but if you don't release these games here, well... Is, um... Is that enough for you? Because you can have this, too. I already want to buy your games, Nintendo. You just have to let me. Of course, I'm just one gamer. This is about $400, but... Oh, I doubt that sums enough to sway you when you're already doing the Scrooge McDuck stroke through your money-filled money bins of money. But... If you're confident that there are enough gamers in Japan willing to buy these games to justify releasing them there, why don't you think there are enough of us here? reason I ask is because the sales data shows that almost every single game in the Wii's library that released in both territories sold better here. No? Really? Eagle Scout's Honor. Here's a list of Japanese games that sold better here. Muramasa, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Rune Factory Frontier, both No More Heroes, both Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, all three Trauma Centers, Arc Rise Fantasia, Fire Emblem, Okami, Tenchu, Fragile, Phantom Brave, the list goes on, but... I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Andrew, you devilishly handsome and well-spoken young man, you... We didn't publish most of those titles, so your argument fails like California in Brown v. EMA. Stanley Touche, Nintendo. But, it just so happens that I have the sales data for your published titles. So, let's take a gander and see just how many sold better in Japan, shall we? Okay. Of 43 titles that released in both territories, the number of games that sold better in Japan is... 3. Three. One, two, three. The other 40 titles? They sold more copies in America by an average factor of 3.9. Oh yeah. Look, Nintendo, all snark aside, my point 
is the sales data shows an undeniable trend of these games selling better here. So if it's worth releasing in Japan to X number of sales, isn't it worth releasing here to at least the same number? And if the last four plus years of sales history is anything to go by, almost certainly a lot more? So, don't look at this as a mere $400. Look at this as $400 times the number of copies those seven games sell in Japan, then multiply that by 3.9. Suddenly this little pile of cash is looking a lot more enticing, isn't it? Well, you're in luck, Nintendo, because gamers like me are just raring to give this to you. Why? Simple. It's because you have the games that we would like to play.